What is up, drinkers of distinction? I have for you another special release from Bodriggy. These guys are in Melbourne. They've got a YouTube, but they haven't done nothing with it for three years, so I'm just going to play it safe and assume that uh, they're too busy. <laughs> but they're not too busy to make some kick-ass fucking beverages. I have reviewed uh, the Eutropia Ale. I've reviewed the Nipa. They're making some really good stuff. Like, I haven't had much of their stuff yet, but yeah, if you're you know, down Melbourne way, check them out if you haven't already. I'm sure there's a lot of microbrewers down there. You've got Fury and Sun and you've got Stomping Ground. I think they're based in Melbourne as well. Like, there's just <laughs> there's so much excellent craft beer in Victoria at the moment. And I have another review coming up soon. 8.8%. Uh, brewery, I think they're located in Canberra. I think maybe, but anyway, we'll we'll focus we'll focus up. <laughs> so this is a hazy IPA using a Norwegian yeast, I believe the blurb says. Yes, Norwegian Kervik yeast, uh, literally hopped with. Uh, Kashmir and Azaka. So one of the Pirate Life beers I did a while ago had Azaka, which was slightly dry. So it'll be interesting to see how the Kashmir goes with the Azaka. But it was a single hop. So the Pirate Life single hop Azaka was one beer I reviewed some time ago. It was, it was good, but just a little bit dry and its percentage was quite strong. Uh, I see. I moved to moved to the bigger glasses so we could get any settlement at the bottom. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Ooh, big fruit punch. Oh yeah. It smells like fruit juice. Mmm. It's not sour. But it's not. It is a little dry from the Azaka. But it does have like a fruit juice vibe. But it's it's on the drier, not quite sour scope. But it's still nice. Like I do like hazies to be a little sweeter, but it's still sweet. It, it reminds me a little bit of grapefruit juice. But as you know, if you've ever had grape juice fruit, it, grape juice juice, it's like, it can be, I, I love it. It's the only sour thing I really like, grapefruit juice, fucking love it. So it could be from the yeast, but yeah, it's, it's not, it's just not sugary sweet. It's not offensive. It's really nice. It's fresh. It's not dry. It's not bitter. This is really interesting. A luscious hazy IPA with a touch of funk and big candied tropical fruit flavors fermented hot with a norwegian kivik yeast strain and literally hopped with cashmere and azaga well it's, it's, it's quite nice but like i say you know i'm not i'm not big on this on the sour beers but it's not technically not sour so yeah it's, it's fresh it's sweet but it's not yeah, it's hard, it's hard to describe. It's just, yeah, it's not the typical sweetness level of, a, uh, of, of, of some Neepers and some Hazies. <clears throat> but yeah, it's refreshing. It's really nice. That's really enjoyable. But yeah, I'm just not sure how to describe it, other than it's sweet, but it's not as sweet as a typical, well, not necessarily a typical, but some hazies. But yeah, no, it's it's interesting. If you like your juicy beers, I, th I think you'd like it. I think I, I, I reckon you'd, you'd you'd put it down. Well, how much I've had, had out of it, and I'm not saying I hate it, but there's that dryness. 
So yeah, it's it's yeah, it's it's like a it's like a hazy with a touch of draft. If that makes any sense. It's got that that dryness from the Azaka. Like it's it's yeah, it's it's cuz like I say, you know, I'm I'm actually surprised by you know, the amount of people that want to drink a beer in this vein, but they don't like the big fruit. I love the fruit. Fucking love it. But anyway, I hope, hope to be helpful. I hope that was uh, somewhat informative. So if you're not familiar with a brewery, check them out. Rodigy, they're making some good stuff. But yeah, their Nipah is, uh, their microwave, microwave Nipah, I think it is, 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 it's a little bit sweeter than this. So that's more up my street. But if you like something that's not sour but not overly sweet and not too fruity, I think you, you, I reckon you'd get into it. All right, that's going to be me. So as always, you know the drill. If you're going to be naughty, be good at it. Stay safe and take care and all that good shit. Try not to drink too much. And if you're going to be guilty of something, be guilty of, be guilty of a good time. All right? All right. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and take care. Happy drinking, distinctive drinkers. <laughs> <laughs>